If you wanna learn how to read a tape measure quick and easy, this is the most foolproof method that I've learned. First, you gotta know three things. Number one, you gotta be able to determine the line length, okay? So if you can tell me that this line is shorter than this line, and this line shorter than that line, then you're 33% of the way there. Number two, you gotta be able to count in odds and evens. One, three, five, seven, two, four, six. Now you're 66% of the way there. And the third thing you must be able to do is know the principles of a fraction, okay? If you can tell me the top number is a numerator and the bottom number of a fraction is a denominator, you're good. Also, always remember that um, on a measurement, the top number, the numerator, is always odd and the denominator is always even. When you're reading a tape measure, the first thing you must know are the increments. Sometimes the tape measure has it wrote on there, so this says 16, so I know this tape measure is in sixteenths. If it is not on there, then you can just count all the increments and you'll get 16, including the full inch, okay? So like I mentioned before, you have to be able to determine the line length. I know this is my longest line and therefore it is a full inch, okay? Now let's go to my next longest line, which is right here, okay? That is directly in the middle of uh, the one inch and it creates two equal parts. So that is halves. Okay, um, now I can start counting odds. I only have one half, so I'll write a one right there. The next longest line are these two lines, and when you include these two longest lines, they, it makes four equal parts of that inch. So these are my fourths right here. And I only have two of them. I can start counting in odds. This is one fourth and three fourths, okay? And as you can see, that's one uh, one part of four, and that is three parts of four, because you have one part, two part, three part, and that's why that's three fourths, okay? The next is my eighths, and as you can see, this is the next longest line, so it's eighths right here, and I have four different eighths, but as you can see, it breaks it into eight equal parts, so this is my first eighth, okay? This is actually my second eighth, but when you write second eighths, it is the same as one fourth. So that's why that's one fourth. And then you'll come here, that is my three eighths. So I'll start counting all these in odds, three eighths, five eighths, and then seven eighths. So as you can see, eight equal parts, one, three, five, seven. And then last but not least is my sixteenths. And as you can see, as I mentioned before, this is gonna be in 16 different parts here. This will be my first one at 1 16th. This will be my second 16th mark, and I can start counting odds, and that is three. All right, and then I can continue counting odds, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, and 15. So pretty much what I did is I did use the line lengths to determine what increment it is. Um, so I have one inch, that's my longest line length, that's a whole inch right there. I go to my next longest line and I see it breaks it into two equal halves, so that's one half. Um, I go to my next line length, I can see that it breaks it into four parts and that's why we have one quarter and three quarters. Um, my next line breaks it into eighths and I have eight equal parts, and I just start counting odds, one, three, five, seven. And then my smallest tick marks, which are my sixteenths, it breaks this, this one inch into 16 different parts, um, and I can label all those one, three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, and 15. Hope this video taught you how to read a tape measure. Um, if you got any suggestions, just leave them down in the comments. I know there's a million different ways, but this is just one of many different ways on how to learn to read a tape measure.